Hola, Taurus friends. Thanks for joining me. We're doing the um, heart spread. This is for the second half of April this morning. Here. This is for someone who has uh, someone on your mind. Doesn't have to be with them physically. Uh, you can be married or separated by miles or even dimensions. I think it's, it'll pick up someone that's passed if that's who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Picks up who's in your heart, guys. Let's see what we got here. Second half of April, Spirit. Name of light and love. This is for our Taurus friends. Love and relationship. We're going to read you. We're going to read your person. We're going to see how you're working together or not. Get some advice for the relationship as a whole. For the second half of April here, guys. These cards are kind of stiff. Got new cards coming. and I might have to give up on them. I might give up on cards even to get old. Cause Taurus in the ninth house. That's my excuse. Attached to him. Okay, let's see here. Taurus, heart spread. What have we got? Taurus and your person. What have we got here? Taurus and your person. Okay. Wow. Look at you out of the chute coming in. Uh, the Ace of Wands. So, in terms of love and relationship. Uh, where your head is at or where your heart is at around relationships right now is on fire. So you have a heart on fire. Uh, I try to make a, I'm gonna, the next card for you uh, will be how you feel once you're in the relationship. Uh, so kind of make a distinction here. This is, uh, but this may be coming from energy you're having now with another person because I mean, that's very sexual energy there in that position. So, this is your person now. They come into the relationship. This is okay. They're coming into the relationship in an energy of looking for relationships, guys. That's their energy right now. Um, let's see. Here you are in terms of being in the relationship. Well, you could uh, take this at the most literal level, like you feel like you have the world now that you're in this relationship. And we'll look at that other ways, because that's major arcana, and they're looking at you carefully. They're looking, and they're looking at you, but they're still judging you, just judging you, counting the pinnacles, uh, uh, watching uh, how many texts. If they send a text, do you send a text? Do they have to send three and then you send one? They, it could be counting that. If it's a new relationship, um, if it's an existing relationship, you're still on fire. You feel very stable. You feel like uh, being in this relationship uh, puts you like at the top of your game. Like you're stronger in this relationship than not. And the world is a nice card to get along with the Ace of uh, Wands here. Because, you know, this is can be just, just horny, just a phallus here. Okay, nothing wrong with that. But, you know, here, this is very stable. And um, so this person, you're way more into them than they're into you right now. You know, and even with the world here too, it's like you could recognize in this relationship, maybe you're just a more mature person, Taurus, or a more spiritually aware person. But maybe you recognize something that this is a significant relationship with the world. And they obviously don't, you know. Maybe you're, uh, maybe it's twin flames and they're the sleeper and you're the activator. Now this is your advice in the relationship. Nine of Cups. As advice in the relationship, that's like full steam ahead. Give your cup of love. So it's like you're pouring it on. Let's see what their advice is. The Empress. Okay, I think what it is here, they're afraid. They're afraid. And I'm not just saying this because it's a Taurus reading. You know, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of real. I'm trying to blow smoke up your ass. You are a more substantial person. You are very desirable, okay? Look, the three of ones. They're out here looking. And you look at you. They see you. And this is like love at first sight. But then it's, now that they got in, they're like, uh, they could, I hate to say they could be a Virgo. 
or it could be a Pisces does this. It's like once they get in, start questioning everything, and you know maybe they've issues from behind from before. You're solid. You kind of know this is something real. You have a feel, and even your advice is to go ahead with it and give your cup of love. Like this means nine of cups. Is nine is like brings that cup of love. That's action. That's you. Like you know, I love you. you have to say I love you first. Say I love you first. And their advice with the Empress. Maybe have them watch this. Um, they need to to understand that they're strong and they have value in themselves. And they don't have anything to fear from you. Because I think what they just fear is how substantial you are and how attractive you are. And they're probably like, I've been fooled before. And when's the next shoe going to drop? And with the Seven of Pentacles here, this should be the relationship uh, energy in the relationship. But they could be carrying over from the past, you know, a pattern of uh, not being reciprocated by others and being very leery about that, you know. Um, and with you being the ace of wands in the world, I mean, there could be an enlightened selfishness to it. In other words, not selfish, but, you know, you're a substantial person. You do your own thing. Um, maybe a little bit that's putting them off here, too, because, you know, there's almost like a fear here. You know, they're out looking, but they didn't found you. But, you know, but their advice is clearly like, you know, to them, the problem is you, partner here of Taurus. You need to, you know, manifest your own empress in yourself here. You need to channel that energy for yourself. Level up and meet meet the Taurus here. No advice for the relationship. It's the Nine of Swords. So there's something going on in the relationship as a whole. That might be what's causing them. You're all a go here. It's got to be something on their side. Are they dealing with something from the past that's putting them into this Nine of Swords energy? Maybe putting both of you into this. You know? Um, this is the card for the advice of the relationship and what's challenging you. And it occurs to me with the Nine of Swords being stuck in like an old pattern. It goes back to your person, I think. See the outcome here. Transformation. Scorpio card two. In the moon. Transformation in the moon. Let's look at those. So something's not right. And the moon is something you're not seeing, something in the unconscious. So what has to transform is something that, that's unconscious, something that's not being seen. And this is about the relationship, maybe. Because this is about the relationship, I can't really say it's that your person has to change and transform. That's not really how it works anyway, right? You know? Um... But I don't necessarily want to read this as a death of the relationship uh, because of death here. There's some kind of transformation that's needed. I'm going, to two, I'm going to put two more cards because I like to do three when I clarify the outcome. But it usually implies time here, maybe nine months here of time. There's something going on that's going to cause stress. It's going to cause your relationship to transform. Now, if the, what I'm reading here... What, what needs to happen is they need to transform so that this empress comes up in them. You know, you're solid here. I don't think you really need anything. You know, maybe you want them to return your cup of love. Maybe they're not here. That's the Nine of Swords. I don't see cups here. Um, but I think they want you. You know, they're just afraid. They don't, they may be just afraid. Like you're going to, you overwhelm them or. They're not good enough for you. Maybe they think something like that. And then Eight of Pentacles and the Star. So your final Eight of Pentacles and the Star. Yeah. Final clarification. It's going to take work. I said nine months, eight months, something like this. And you're going to have hope because there's on the other side of death and the Star is major transformation. And this is work. So there may be work that goes into this relationship 
Notice the seven to the eight of pentacles. Now, the seven of pentacles, this is like, this is not good. It's, it's um, you know, but there's something wrong with that. But there's something wrong with that. And there's something wrong with that. And somebody might say, well, stop talking about fucking what's wrong and think of a solution. Eight of pentacles is a solution. Eight of pentacles is not complaining, but fixing, doing the work, doing good work, really good work. Okay, and with the star, I mean, hopes, dreams, wishes are are here uh, in the future, and I think it's with this relationship, um, with death and transformation, you're transforming here into a beautiful butterfly. This relationship, so I like it, Taurus. This is for the second half of April, guys. Let me know what you think. Appreciate your comments. Like helps a lot. Helps the channel. I appreciate everybody subscribing. <clears throat> I want to hit that 1,000 so we can do um, can do live readings for you guys, especially the quickies. You know, let's just do all of them live. All right, thank you guys. See you next week. Join us for the quickies.